Hey everyone, today's video is brought to you by Viral Academy. Viral Academy is a step-by-step -step course on how you can turn your passions to a career on YouTube. Kind of like what you did, but in a more formal setting. So you guys know we weren't always YouTubers and Joe was working a logistics company, I was a tutor and we really wanted to do comedy on YouTube and we kind of had to do it the hard way and figure it all out and we were very unmotivated and not passionate at our jobs and when we finally became YouTubers and were able to put comedy out there and you guys see all these new channels now, we're much more fulfilled and Viral Academy can teach you how to do these things in a step-by-step -step process. One student who went through this process is Lori from The Icing Artist. So she used to work this crappy job repairing furniture, didn't really like it, but now she does what she loves on YouTube, which is baking cakes. So if you wanna try YouTube as a potential career, go down to the description box below and click the link. But the course is not cheap. It's made for people who are serious about starting their YouTube careers. Also, it's gonna take some hard work to become successful. You're not gonna become a successful YouTuber overnight. But when you do become successful, you're gonna wake up every morning happy and passionate about what you do. Like us. Well, actually, I don't wake up happy and passionate every morning. But I'm here at work doing YouTube to see if it's right for you. Go ahead, click the link in the description box below. Put in your email to get a free lesson. There's nothing to lose and you get to have a free lesson. So if you've ever even had the slightest interest on being on YouTube or you just wanna know how people like me and Joe are able to make a career on YouTube, I would sign up for this free lesson so you could better understand how to make viral videos. Thank you. Now it's time for a viral video. Three, two, one, action. Hey guys, welcome back to Off The Record where we talk about whatever, whatever we want. want. And it's an in-house cast. We got Nikki back and there's Steve and we're back from the holidays. Happy New Year. Look how Merry dapper Christmas. he looks. No. Yeah. Look it. I just up for my nice wife. Shirt. Look at that. I didn't even pick out this outfit. You, you don't want to know? He did. I mean, I shopped for it, no, but yeah, yeah, he but chose to wear this today without me That's saying anything. Is you. that a New Year's resolution to uh, look slick and cool? No. <laughs> New Year's resolution is, is different, but it's You private. said I only did it because my wife's going to oh, be can on. Can you just share a little bit? Can I share it? A little bit. Why, why did you put on a dress shirt for once in your life? He said it was private and I want to hear it. No, he, he puts on dress shirts, but then it's like the same shirt for one month. That's correct. <laughs> and then the next shirt, it's like, because it was lacking like, last month was the pineapple one. Yeah, I realized that, <laughs> that I realized that was happening because I wanted to like increase his wardrobe last year. Yeah, yeah. So I bought, you know, a couple pieces for him to wear. And I realized that he kept wearing the same one over and over and over and over again because he doesn't hang his stuff up and he doesn't like to, he doesn't know how to iron and he doesn't know how to steam. I like talking about me like I'm not here. <laughs> so he just wears the one that doesn't have wrinkles and so that was the pineapple shirt. Um, and I was like, I bought you a bunch of shirts. Why don't you wear them? Because they're wrinkled. Well, we'll iron them. No, he doesn't iron. Anyway, you should so get a steamer. It's easy. I have a steamer. Oh, steam he it. He still dude. doesn't use that. You know what would be good for Steve? The what? subscription boxes, where they just send you like a new item or two items cool. a month. That's true. You just slowly add to your wardrobe. But we won't shout one out unless they sponsor us. She tried to hook me up with one, but the lady was annoying. And she wouldn't leave me alone. Oh yeah, I kept, <laughs> I kept hounding him. I'm like, why didn't you sign up for this yet? Why didn't you sign up for it? Yeah, that lady was annoying, but <laughs> you, you just put your size in. Fuck you. You made yourself that lady. You just put your size in, they'll send you shoes, pants, socks, everything. It's too much work, Bart. I don't know, yeah, Bart. you're missing the point. Work. She asked me, listen, you're listening Bart. Listening with man ears. You're Bart. not listening with like regular. Steve's ears. a man. Steve's Bart. a man. She lost me when she said, "What's your hat size?" I was like, "I'm out. <laughs> I'm not wearing no fucking hats. I'm not wearing a Bart hat or whatever that is." Wait, wouldn't you want to wear a hat? Yeah, you're wearing a hat. You look. What is that hat? It's an odd-shaped like head, so he won't wear hats. Uh, it's a, it's an extra, extra. Read all about it. America's going to World War II. Oh Get yeah. Get your hot dogs. Get your hot dogs. Five cents a nickel a piece. <laughs> That's what that is. It's the paperboy hat. Yeah, yeah paperboy. Yeah. I'm gonna buy you a cowboy hat. Bart looks good in hats. For the sake of I, it. I, I can do it. I can, I can do a cowboy hat. No. Oh, okay, my bad. <laughs> no. I'm taking my present back. I think Steve would look like pretty cool in a cowboy hat. I think so too. Yeah, that'd be sick. You gotta get those cowboy shirts too, where there's designs right here. And shit, I, I'm you know in. I mean? Like, I'll yeah. wear a bolo tie with yeah. pearl buttons. Hell, I already yeah. look like Philip Rivers. <laughs> uh, what if we all looked our stereotype? <laughs> What's a half oh, Filipino a stereotype? Look, True, what is that? you gotta invent it. I think no, they're just, they're so sure. America, they like love like, um, like just all American stuff. Just get an American flag dress. You have to sing everything and just like fucking, uh, yeah, yeah. Think Frank Sinatra stuff. Can we also say only our race's catchphrases? Like I say, finger licking good. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were, that was 
like a saying that you're rhyming. No, that Our racist catchphrases. No, no, that's, like, that's my racist catchphrase. <laughs> is it? Yeah. It doesn't sound that racist. The KFC slogan. It doesn't sound racist. Finger sound. licking good. Fing, KFC finger licking good. Yeah. You say it so well too. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, welcome back. Mm. Yeah. How was your trip? How was Europe? You absconded for like a good month, right? Man, I think I was gone longer than Vietnam this time. Did yeah. you see every country? <laughs> no. So I. So the crazy thing is, I want it to be different from Vietnam, where I don't really have an agenda, and I'm just gonna figure out where the fuck I'm gonna go. But I knew for sure that I was gonna come back from the Netherlands. Oh, uh, okay. My buddy. Um, so you just gotta make your way there somehow. Yeah, yeah, cause. I got a one-way ticket to London, and then my one-way, I mean, my my return ticket was from Amsterdam. So I knew oh. the dates, I just didn't know what I was gonna do in between. How sick was Amsterdam? Amsterdam was pretty nuts. I was only there for one night, though. Damn. Oh, yeah. that's how we were that's in Amsterdam, too. Yeah, we were too. literally just stoned and walking around. Oh, do you remember like, anything? I do, but it was crazy because it seemed like the same thing. Cause you know how the block is? Mm -hmm. And you know what's funny is when I was when you responded to me, I was high as fuck. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> I did the story, and then um, <laughs> uh, Gio was like, I, "I know where that sex yeah. show is or whatever on the canal." But all of the way the the way the blocks are shaped, you get lost fucking easily, mm -hmm. especially yeah. at night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's so many bikes. <laughs> yeah, and then you know how we figured out how we where we were? It was the girls. <laughs> Yeah, all the, they're all different. No, because we're like, different. oh yeah, because there's like a black girl area really? by the yeah, church. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yes. Just just for black ladies. There's older like women. Yeah. There's like blonde. Oh, so they all they, they you want sectioned it by like genres of like yes. a yes. Really look organized. on Port, it, Pornhub. Yeah. There's like the yeah. list of categories and yeah. like yeah, they just like yeah. organized like it. the blonde's <laughs> house. Yeah. yeah, they Marie Kondoed all the hoes into the the right. <laughs> So yeah. <laughs> so, so if I'm there, I, I can be like, excuse me, do you guys know where the black girls they are? They would know, yes. Really? Yes. Because yeah. there's an actual location. Like, yes. you, if you want like a, a Indian chick that has like the silks with their stomach sticking out with the red dot, you can find that. Like anything you want. <laughs> wow. Like, any, well, that's any, so true. Can her stomach, old ladies too, can her there's grandmas. In? Can her stomach be in, but she has the red dot? <laughs> not maybe. Out. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, I understand. But you can find anything. Okay. Yeah, there's grandmas, there's like super skinny girls, big girls, just... And this is all for fucking, to be clear, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. yes. What do you yeah. think, for cleaning houses? And what you do you do think? It, like, you see them on the window and then you... It's fucking like, intimidating, though, because like, it's all out in the open. And then the girls are just like, fucking, come here, come here. And then you know when you're stoned, you just stand there and you just stare and you don't know how long you're standing there for? Yeah. I feel like I was standing there for like five minutes with my friend. It's like, what do you want to do? I don't know. It's kind of scary. I know. Go ask him. I don't know. And then the whole time, the girl's just standing there. <laughs> that is pretty intimidating, though. You know what? You know what it is? Yeah. The girl's like, I'm getting me an Asian male hooker, and then and then you're standing in the Asian male hooker spot, stoned out of your mind. <laughs> and she's like, Hey, come on, let's go. Come on, fuck boy. Yeah. yeah. I got fifty. Yeah, and there'll be like whole. Tour groups and just fam, mm -hmm. not like I, I guess families because it's like there is families. Them, yeah, there's there's just like whole groups of like there's grandma and and you know the grandson and whatever they're just like pointing and it's like a tourist oh, attraction. Hot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And while at the same time there's guys that are just walking up mm -hmm. and then just walking <coughs> straight in and coming in and out and I'm just like fuck, I don't know. I was it was too weird, man. I was like, should I try this? Should I not? I was it was like playing jump rope. I was like fuck. I don't know, man. I don't know what to do here. Did you or didn't you? Nah, it was kind of too scary because I was way too paranoid and stoned. You didn't fuck an Amsterdam hooker? Nah. I heard they're very <laughs> affordable. I'm disappointed. Yeah, but like I did. Like 50 bucks? Yeah. You know what? I did, I did talk to them. The most gorgeous woman you've Gorge. ever seen. Yeah. He was gonna, he was thinking about it. He was like really close. Oh yeah, but I heard someone stopped him. <laughs> uh, himself. Yeah, oh, I was no, no, no. for it. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. Who are you, were you liar? I just wanted to catch his fucking. <laughs> I line. knew you didn't. I knew you I didn't. I didn't buy it for a second. I was like, what? Your face I was changed. Like, are we playing this on camera right now, Gio? I'm like, no way, man. <laughs> I good. caught you though. That was good. I caught you. Nah, you didn't catch me. I was trying to clean it up for you because I wasn't sure if you wanted it on camera or not. That's yeah. good. Being a good friend, I thought. <laughs> no. No. 
You called me out. No way, man. <laughs> I walked through there. I walked through there with my with my future wife. We were there, and we were there the first year we were together. We fought in every single country in Europe. Oh my gosh, we abandoned Steve wow. in an Amsterdam restaurant because I was so fucking. Now you gotta go back and create new memories. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I I, when I tell you the first year of us together was like the worst. It was, it was the worst. Like we almost broke up in Germany. It was <laughs> how romantic. <laughs> Insane. So I know we're like touring yeah. Europe, like all these countries, and we're just fighting in. Every oh, that's the every worst. Country. We banged in every country too. We did. We oh, banged yeah. in every country and we fought. In every we were hot. Well, and there's cold. balance there. Hot and cold. I just fought. Yeah. <laughs> were they were they like stupid fights? The yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Everything. Terrible. Everything like just... they they were all like surface level. There were there's deeper issues, yeah. but like we're fighting on about this surface. issue because yeah. this one wasn't yeah. resolved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then Steve was jet lagged the whole fucking time, so he was just like really grumpy. Yeah. And I was pissed because like we only had a few days in each country because it was like a tour that we were doing, and um, I wanted to see as much as possible, and I wanted to take pictures, and I was like excited to be there, and he was just the grumpiest. Pissed off, dude. He didn't want to. Every time I asked him to take a picture, he was like, "Oh no, I, I can't even like, imagine." You like, fucking kidding me, man? We're yeah. like, we're never coming here again because neither of us like pay for like cold places. Like we will always do tropical vacations when we go on vacation. So I'm like, we're never. When are we coming here again? We're never coming here again. I just want a few pictures, and he's just. The grumpiest fucking asshole. That was the other thing. It was cold as an absolute. Oh yeah, it was cold as fuck. I, I, and I started the trip in Denmark. She wasn't even there yet because she had a Taco Bell commercial. Yeah. Uh, she came and met me in an, in London, which was much nicer by then. Yeah. So she met me when I was already fucking six days of piss. And I was so excited to be in London with my boyfriend of less than a year. I was so excited, and he was just a, a fucking asshole. We still fucked in every country. Remember? We did. While well, you were angry. <laughs> oh, a angry makeup sex is kind of the best sex. When, when did you go? During the winter, because yeah, yeah it's Dead depressing, man. Yeah, like that's what I, I didn't realize Gloomy. how it would fuck with my mind. Yep, oh, really? I love it during the winter. And yeah, he didn't have a coat. Winter, he didn't have that's a coat because dumbass him thought like cold meant hoodie. So oh that's shit, it. dude! He's like, I, I didn't know shit. Oh, sir, I could do the no. hoodie. It's a different level of cold. Yeah, it's a different level of cold. Cause, it cause, is. Because I was raised on the East Coast, so I thought uh, people on West Coast are pussies. Oh no, dude, this is like eight below. <laughs> yeah. You didn't bring cool. socks? Well, I brought socks. I didn't bring like the, the kind the of thick socks. Ones you thick ones? an idiot. I brought socks. <laughs> I prepped for the cold though. I, I was pretty it. proud. I was like, better than the locals. I was like, fuck That's it. Which was your favorite I did city? Therapy. Oh man, they're so different. And I'm so happy that I was able to check out both Eastern Europe. Well, not Eastern, but I guess Czech is right in the border. And then there's Central Europe right right there in um, Amsterdam, I mean, uh, uh, Austria. And then that's more like German culture. And then you saw like, you know, of course the UK is closer to America in a way. And then all the way up to like Amsterdam. But like there's so many different, I guess, versions of like white people in the cities yeah. and the Do you go to Sweden? And, no, so I was gonna go to Scandinavia, but I ended up not because everyone was like, it's so fucking dark there. Why would you go there now? Oh, uh, yeah. Saw the moving by far. Yeah, That's what I heard. Everywhere we went, they were like, you should come back in the springtime. Why are you here now? Because yeah. we were there early March and like just before springtime was about to happen. Yeah. They're like, why did you come now? They're I don't want to go to winter from the summer. <laughs> yeah, the spring. Like when the, the flowers start to blossom. <laughs> why, did you see hot ass girls there in Sweden? Uh, yeah, well, everyone's oh, yeah. tall and blonde. He fit right in. Uh, he looked like he was from there. Uh, but People yeah, came up to me and said the blonde. language and I was like, Mm. Oh, everyone's that super super nice. <laughs> I love it. No. There was a metal oh, bar. No. <laughs> there was a metal bar where everyone's like, you know, goth and like punk rock, like mohawks, and and it was like rah rah rah. But the bartenders were like, hello, what can I get you today? <laughs> They're all nice. They're so, so sweet bubbly. there. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, so you went to all these countries. Hottest women go. Hottest women. Oh my god. Ranking oh, them. Rank the countries. I, I. Hot to not. Dude, I I I can't even explain. The fucking hot level out there is totally different. So many flavors of hot. Yeah, and they're actually you burnt really... by all this heat. Mm -hmm. Huh? Are you burnt by all this heat? Yeah, it's fucking facial hair. Yeah, <laughs> man, it fucking burned out my. No, like it's um. Okay, so, I so for so I think being in America too, like the the we don't really know the difference of white, like from Eastern European to like British white to like all that, right? And when I was there. I couldn't really tell until toward the end of the trip. I'm like, okay, I can see like this person's more Central Europe or Eastern yeah. or like Russian or like whatever, right? Check. Yeah, and, and dude, they're all like different kinds of hot. It's almost like saying like 
who's hotter, like Mexican girls or Cuban girls? Like they're still fucking hot, but they're like a different kind of Latina, right? And I think the cool thing though is the culture there is a lot more friendlier, I think, than the States. Cause it's easier out there to just talk to women and hang out with them, like just cold. For me at least, then I think in LA or maybe- <laughs> It's cause it's LA dude. <laughs> in America, like go anywhere else That's but true. LA. But I mean, cause I was born and raised here, right? Yeah, yeah, Unless yeah, yeah. Um, you know someone that knows someone, you're somebody or you're part of a clique or a group that's popular or whatever. I think it's just a different kind of scene overall. Mm -hmm. And out, I think people here are a little bit more like uh, paranoid and jaded of like threatening things. But out there, yeah, there's, it's just easier and people are more down to just talk and have conversations. They're like climbers. I like, don't think they're social climbers. Yeah, a lot of climbers. And a lot of them make good money. Like the women, they're educated, they make good money. They're not looking for like, like um, you know, a husband immediately or they're just looking for love or just a connection or they're just looking to fuck real quick. I heard New York was like that. And that might be a myth, but like a lot of New Yorkers I know came here and they're like, yeah, in New York, it's so easy to talk to people. And in LA, people don't want to talk to you. Maybe. Yeah, oh, I wow. that too. Well, New Yorkers are pretty direct. I heard that New Yorkers are meaner, though. No, no they're not right. mean, they're right. blunt. Hey, okay, oh, I'm in New York. Hey, fuck yeah. yourself, okay? Like, if you have something, if they, you have a problem with someone, they just tell you instead of, like, being fake nice and then talking yeah. to you. That's kind of cool, yeah. but... Like, they're not, yeah. not passive-aggressive. Yeah. Yeah, but I I don't know. Yeah, because LA is so different, right? You got your Hollywood LA and then the bad perception of LA where people come in as transplants and yeah. they try to be actors. That's and the majority of LA. Yeah, and well, the majority of what people think because they go back home and they get a bad impression of LA. But us as locals, <laughs> the majority of LA, we know LA differently. But you guys are all like outskirts of LA. Probably. But that's the real LA, yeah. not Hollywood. True. Yeah, and that's the not the real LA. Santa Monica and that little corner of yeah. LA. That's yeah. the... That's it's the, industry LA. It's industry, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. why Christmas Day you could drive around LA anywhere, you get anywhere in 15 minutes because yeah. everyone's a transplant, they all went yeah, home. Yeah, they all went home. I loved that during Me the holidays. Me too, it's great. Usually, yeah. like, we travel every time, every year, and then this year we actually stayed here, and I'm like, <coughs> We can actually get from here to here in 10 minutes? What? <laughs> but the problem is you get there and they're closed. Yeah. True. Because <laughs> all the transplants work there. <laughs> you can get anywhere in 15 minutes, but they're all fucking closed. Also, you know what, I also, also observed too that there's a lot more mixed relationships there mm. than I've seen anywhere else in the world. Mm. Like mm. whether it's London or um, you know Vienna or whatever. Mixed with what? No, I mean like <laughs> white people interracial. Oh, yeah, I yeah. See. You, it's 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 very common. Like you see a ton of different, and and it's like different mixtures. I think because the ethnic groups out there are just different in general. So you'll see like uh, more like some from Nepal or or Middle Eastern, Nepal <laughs> and Cambodian. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, some. Shit I'm like picturing that. white people everywhere. So I'm like I'm like oh, a girl with a red coat was with a guy with a black coat. <laughs> There is a fuck ton of white people though. Yeah, yeah. that's I what I noticed. It's interesting that you could literally country hop within hours. Like yeah, you could go to so many different countries so cool. on by train. Cause like here we have Canada and Mexico. They're both really far away from each other. Like you really have to plan out a travel trip to go to either country. But there you could just take a day train to a different country, three different countries and you could see it's everything. Dirt yeah. cheap. And the language changes yeah. and everything. It's crazy. Dude, language like. Cuisine yeah. changes, it's nuts. But they all know English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I feel like most of them know. They all know at least two languages. Yeah, because I felt so dumb. I'm like, oh my god, I'm such a foreigner. I, like, I don't know other languages. I'm, I, like, I'm so ignorant and stupid. But then they all knew English, and I was like, oh my god, I was so thankful. And then I felt bad for every time a foreigner came here and didn't know English. But we treat them like shit, though. <clears throat> I know, because we, we don't help if they don't know oh. English. Like, like, learn the language, you fucking foreigner. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're assholes. <laughs> a lot of them know, like, at least two. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's pretty crazy. And it's taught in schools from a young age. Like here, like you take an elective by the time you're in high school yeah. and you only need to take two <laughs> years and you don't remember any of it. Except the UK though. I didn't know many people out there that were multilingual. Well, you don't really need to because their first language is English. English. Yeah, yeah, so I think it's ma mainly English speakers that don't need to know yeah. many languages. But if you go into Central Europe or Eastern or whatever, they know like multiple. Like they know their hometown language yeah. and then they'll know like German and they'll know like you know, English and or whatever. Metro systems work really well. Oh, yeah. yeah. And they know how to drive on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that? Well, most of them actually drive 
the cars that we do with the uh, the roads like our system. It's just it's just the UK. Their money's all yeah. fucked up though. I had to like carry a treasure chest to like pay for things. Oh, because the euros and all that. So but the thing is, they just use cards. I don't know. Like it looked it looked to the lady like I was like I, like I had a pile of socks. I was like, which one? I, how do I pay for this? <laughs> I don't know what I'm. And doing their with their this. flights are hella cheap in between mm -hmm. because that's the main reason why I did it that way because yeah. it was so easy to just book something. I saw a flight from, uh, I think it was Vienna to London for like $26. Wow. Yeah, one way ticket. Wow. Yeah. They gotta be losing money on that. Yeah, come on now. <laughs> a lot of it is government subsidized. That's why they can do it that way. Yeah. And did you know there's a train from fucking London to Paris? What? Yeah, it goes under the I've heard of it. Water. Yeah, because I was staying next to the Harry Potter station Mm -hmm. It's like King's Cross or whatever, and it was like that's where the glasses came from. Did you see the the, the one half thing? Did you see the fucking? Did you jump through? Because they added it. I heard. Oh no, they painted it. No, have I you watched or read any of the books? I, I watched the movies, but I forgot like jump ninety percent. Did you ask that? Yeah. Well, I don't know the numbers, so I would always just I would just look for the half thing because I don't. Something three quarters. Something like that. I didn't look. I didn't treasure hunt the the station. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I just saw that and I was like, that's fucking crazy. Then you didn't travel. No, I didn't. Nine and three quarters. Did you no. see Peter Pan statue? The Peter Pan statue. Really? Did you drink butter beer? I didn't do many. Honestly, I didn't do Big much. Show. No, were they? I didn't. I did it. I did it. I did it. Know, he didn't fuck a hooker. He didn't walk through a wall. <laughs> I did it. Yeah. I didn't. What do did much. you do then? What tourist shit did you Did you take the fucking picture in the fucking the telephone booth? He showed me a fu Austrian hot dog. That looked bomb. Did good. you take? Oh, did you take a picture next to the to the cats who no, were have to stand up? I didn't up? do. It. So all you did was eat one giant fish and chip. Big deal. Did you talk shit to them and go like, hey, hey, hey you, you cut suck a piece of shit. You're gonna move. <laughs> yeah, I didn't do any of Damn. that. It was really shit weather too. Mm, so it yeah. was like rainy. You went dead like, of winter. Uh, I didn't get to do all the tourist stuff. So did you see the Christmas back. fucking market at least? Yes, that was the fucking dope, dope shit right dope. there. Christmas market, what's that one? I went to this whole, they have a huge thing called Winter Wonderland. It was like a big ass fucking festival. It's like, imagine a carnival plus show plus whatever you just drink there and chill yeah where's that uh it's in london london yeah but i mean all across europe though they have these christmas markets all in they like food it's they fucking sell, like, dope handcraft their food from like all over europe and mulled wine have you had that mulled, mulled wine. wine i make yeah. that every year i make the best it's mulled so wine why don't yeah, you come over so and good. take it all right i liked it we wanted to throw a christmas party this year but, but no we good. like were vacationing uh, and then no, like everyone and then we got sick, sick. yeah everyone got i was sick. sick too but yeah there's just so much fucking that went down i don't know i didn't do any tourist shit it was crazy a lot of fucking went down that's what i heard i was like wait what damn it steve Man. Hey, good for you, man. Good for you.